Hey viewers, welcome back. It's Wheatley TV for the final game of the season. Wheatley currently fourth in the table and we're playing our local rivals, also Bryden, who are tenth. Um, and uh, yeah, uh, big game today, always a, a fun rivalry with Orsall. Um, uh, for some reason I'm missing someone today, I don't know where he is, but there's, um, I think it's someone called Mr Peck is, uh, is off somewhere, but uh, I'll, I'll update you later on that one. So Wheatley have won the toss and decided to bowl and a big thank you to Carol Tasker who sponsors the game today as well. So we've got Toby opening up from the bungalow ends here. First ball off the legs and there's the fielders on this, it's going to be a leg bite. That's off his legs as well and that's raced away to the tennis courts for four runs. Henry Patterson from the Tennis Cots and we're joined by Wayne Ellis, the chairman. Wayne, how have you uh, enjoyed the season? Um, yeah, great season again. Everybody's enjoyed it. Brilliant, mate. The team's been great. Well, thank you for your effort throughout the year, young man. <laughs> oh, that's a lovely... Shots all the way down the ground, beats the two fielders, and that's uh, raced away. Hit the tennis courts for four runs. Oh! It's a lovely shot that's gone through the cover fielders. Hands, and that's raced away. And you see the fielder there, it's uh, four runs. Beautiful shot there. And that is up in the air, toppers underneath it, and that's caught safely, and Henry gets a wicket. <laughs> and that brings in Bryden's overseas player from South Africa. Been scoring runs for fun this year. And uh, Tongi has completely dived over the top of the ball there, but it's not going to go for four, but they will come back for two. South LBW and the umpire stands still. Oh, that's a fantastic ball through the gap and uh, the off stump has lent back. Bob, if I get hit in the pads, it's not out. <laughs> it's always out, Hoodle. That's a full toss and that's gone over the top of Lu Tong and it's raced away for four runs. That's a lovely shot. Um, it's gone between two fielders but Rutherford will grab it. So it's just going to be the two. Oh and that's been picked up absolutely stupendously and slapped nonchalantly to the boundary for four runs. Oh, and that's a... I'd say I probably started having a slip. Oh, that's a stunning ball. Oh, that's uh, flicked off the legs. And uh, the outfield's a bit slow, so it's not going to go for four, but it'll come back for a second. That's a big shot for Abu Dhabi, and that is given. Oh, that's a big shot for Abu Dhabi, and uh, that is out as well. Oh, that's edge, and it's just past Cal's hands. Raced away, and uh, the four runs to the scoreboard. Oh. Shot, Jamie. That's picked up beautifully. Two bounces, in the net, four runs. Big shot, we're going down leg. 
That's flicked off his legs beautifully. And uh, even with the wet outfields, that's uh, raced away, four runs. So uh, 15 overs gone here, four wickets, 64 for four. And uh, one of the batsmen's Jamie's in quite comfortably with 33. I'm not moving. Gone right, that. Don't bother, Callum. going on here. The umpires are talking to each other oh. and he's given out. Yeah, thought there was a noise. Oh. I'd keep that. Okay. I can't believe how much Cal looks like Claire Bolden. <laughs> I think about it all the time. <laughs> So viewers, I, I don't know where James Peck is today, I'm really sorry. Um, so I've got a new co-commentator, um, I've got Maya Boville here. Hi. Maya, how are you doing? I'm good, thank you, how Excellent. are you? Thank you for helping me out today. As like I said, I don't know where Peck is, so. How soon you forget, Jimmy. I was at Trent Bridge picking up our Cricket Innovators Award um, and we were treated to a day of hospitality. Here I am with my brother Will and we had a smashing day. Um, we went, walked into the Radcliffe Road end and uh, were greeted with this site. Uh, this is our room for the day. Absolutely amazing place to watch cricket from Trent Bridge. I know I'm biased. It's a superb cricket ground, an actual cricket ground rather than a mega stadium. Um, and yeah, we we're watching Leicestershire against Hampshire in the One Day Cup final. Um, but yeah, this was our room for the day, and we were royally treated by uh, Andy and Sam from Notts County Cricket Club's um, Development Committee. We ate some delicious food. I ended up having two panna cotta because, well, they call me the vulture. And yeah, we were right next door to Leicestershire um, players' uh, families' enclosure as well. Um, and Leicestershire fans had a great day out as well. They completely outsung any Hampshire fans who were there. Um, and it's quite nice to watch a cricket match um, where you have absolutely no jeopardy in watching because you support neither side. I did capture this wonderful moment um, when Leicestershire were on top. Um, and yeah, they have a very young team, but they played brilliantly in the end. Um, it was a pleasure to meet all our other award winners. Congratulations to them from cricket clubs uh, like Woolerton and Blythe. Um, and yes, we were treated brilliantly all day. I uh, can't recommend that highly enough. Uh, huge thanks to everyone at Trent Bridge for nominating us and um, uh, getting this award to us. And I also recorded um, this, the uh, winning moments of the match. As exciting as it was, I was checking the weekly score throughout the day, um, and so were quite a few people around me. It turned out to be a weekly TV viewers, so hello to them. Um, and I think really we should get back to the proper cricket, shouldn't we? Hey, viewers, change of bowler here, the Jolly Shepherd coming into bowl. Uh, and me, I believe, Cal is your cousin. Yeah. Uh, and all the viewers know him as a spiffing fellow. Um, what's he like in real life? I don't know what that word means, <laughs> um, but I'll agree with it. Okay, good. Yeah, I'll Thank agree you. with that. Oh. And that's raced away to the boundary for four runs. This is a lot of people. I really feel like I'm watching an Ashes game. Oh, that's a 
big shout for LBW. Not and that's together. close, but not out, yeah. That's uh, cut away, not cut away, I should say, pulled away. And that's four more runs, and uh, riding the race and on here. Uh, good recovery, 81 for five. 28 overs to go. Oh, and that's a huge shout for LBW. Oh, he should... And he's given. What a lovely ball there, Carl. Gets the wicket there. <laughs> so we just yeah. had a drinks break, viewers. It is 85 for 7 um, and 24 overs down, obviously. And Rutherford to continue is over. Well done, dog. You're jamming. Oh. Oh. Leave that one. And so, viewers, that was a no ball there. So, this is going to be a free hit for the uh, Bride and Batsman. Steps across, swipes that away. That's a few bounces. Runs away to the grass pile for four runs. Oh! That's also out. Oh, what a beautiful ball there by Callum. Shot. I don't think that's going to reach the boundary though, Maya. No. Going to come back for two. Big arm in. My fourth. Yeah. Shot mate. Just topping up from last night. <laughs> hey, who are these two people over there on the bench? Uh, sadly, that is my father. Sadly? Um, yeah, he's annoying. Right, okay. He looks like Jesus though. And is that your mum as well? Yes, but she's lovely. And you just see a ball go past there because that's yeah. four leg buys. What a great catch there by Tungy. That's nine down. <laughs> That's a fish. George is out into the boundary. It's just going to be a single. What's Eddie? Oh, Eddie, sorry, not George. Apologies, mate. Honestly, old age. <laughs> 20 overs to go, mate. Yeah. And one wicket to go as well. And a change of ball as well, mate, with Tongi. And that is Ooh. in the air. George is there. And that's uh, out. And that is the end of the innings. Uh, riding 108, all out. So, uh, second half about to start. Bryden 108, all out. So, the target is 109. And we've got Dwayne Aloysius Bush and Luke, the legend Tong, coming into bat. Bushy opening up here from the tennis court ends. And a, a good opening ball. Oh, inside edge. And that's the first run on the board. So, viewers, we have a famous person coming to watch the game today. This is Claire Balding. And, uh, yeah, so uh, she's uh, come away from her TV duties to come watch weekly TV. And that's down the leg side. And that's uh, missed by the wicket keeper. And uh, raced away for four, four wides, or four buys, I should say. So Bryden opening with a bit of spin here as well from the other end. Bushy to face the first ball. And clipped off. Um, that's not going to get to the boundary, so it's only going to be a single. And uh, Bushy's come down to the uh, pitch of the ball and he's uh, wiped that away for four runs. 
Oof. Comes marching down the pitch. And they're calling for an hours that, but the umpire is not moved. More were throughout the week and he just picked them Saturday. It's a big shout for LB. Definitely going down. Not a... Oh, and that's a beautiful ball. I know. Swung a mile and uh, Tommy stumped out the ground nearly. Is it that difficult to get tickets? Yeah, it's impossible. And that brings Tom Watfield into the uh, onto the crease. Lovely cut shot. Uh, it's only going to be a single. You can't really get and that's a no ball, so that'll be a free hit. And that is smashed. As that acts into the trees, and that's six runs. But you're not uh, waiting around, I don't think. And that's up in the air, but that's between the two fielders. And that's only going to be a single. So Wheatley raced on to 21 now for one. Uh, into the fourth over. That's, uh, oh, and lucky that. So viewers, there's a bit of a competition going on as well between these two batsmen. Uh, Bushy and Tom for who's going to score the most runs in the season. That's a big shout. Uh, maybe going down leg. Um, so uh, a bit of internal competition is always a good thing. And that's up in the air and a fantastic catch there by Jake. And that's uh, Tom leaving the field. So apologies to Jake there for not getting his catch, but um, it was an absolutely fantastic snaffle down by his ankles. Here he is there. Let's say hello. Jake, you all right? I'll let you off, mate. There you go. And that brings the Jolly Shepherd into bat. And one thing I will say as well, Jake's just pointed out that the uh, washing is on the washing line, um, but I'm not going to the other end because there's a hill. And uh, so we're going to stay this end for the rest of the game. Lovely ball that. Pushy down the pitch there, finds the gap. I'm just going to come back for the two. And now it's come down, that's going to smash the side screen as you can hear there. And a huge six for Bushy. So viewers, um, it's got a bit dark here, and I'm joined by Toby, and that is caught, and Cal's gone, that's uh, two down, three down now. So that's uh, three down for Wheatley, as I was mentioned before, um, well George Possewhite's going into bat, one of the Bash brothers, and I've got the other Bash brother with us, Toby. Um, Toby, you've got some bad news for you, haven't you? Yeah. No. I, I hear you're leaving and you're not coming back next year. Yeah, unfortunately, it's just it's a bit a bit too much distance to travel. It's for too much travel, like an hour. Years. Well, yeah. Yeah, okay, hour cool. Each way. So, viewers, what I need from you all is uh, in the comments, can you please um, just put um, Toby, please stay, or hashtag Toby, please stay, um, and then we get that trend in a bit, and then next year he'll be here. Um, for your viewing pleasure, as always. <laughs> oh. and Bushy come marching down again. The field is definitely going to get there. Going to come back for an easy two runs. Oh, that's been an absolute mile. It's, uh, I think it's gone down. Is it going to hit the uh, boundary rope? Nope, they're going to run for three. Oh, and that was up in the air. Field has missed it. And, uh, oh no, it's still in the, it's still in the field. And, uh, cause the, uh, the viewer touched the ball, it's a dead ball. It carries on. I will say one thing, uh, guys, the guy that's just touched the ball is an absolute legend. So his name's Bill, and uh, he's come over to see some family all the way from Australia. Um, yeah, I think his family's from Lincolnshire. Um, Pecky might have mentioned him last week, but he's, um, he's come to watch the game again. 
Bushy this time has gone over the top and uh, four runs. And that is a great ball, but it's been edged. Um, and it's not going to reach the boundary again because it's still a bit damp on the outfield over there. So come back. And that is up in the air, and there is a fielder there, and Jamie has absolutely snaffled that. And that's caught, and there, George Possilwaite is walking. So uh, a typical Wheatley collapse here. We're 44 for four. And uh, Captain oh, Toppers coming into bat. Lovely bad. first ball up. And again, down the wicket. That's in the air, but it's just missed the fielder. And it's, uh, it's only a single. Chances coming. Oh, and that's edged. And well caught on the slips. And that's uh, toppers, and that's five down. So with that wicket, Eddie is into ball, but it's a new over, so Bushy comes down. And they're going straight to the fielder. Oh, and that's been cut beautifully, carved the fielders. They're going slow outfield, so they're only going to come back for two. And with that shot, that takes Wheatley to 50 runs. Bushy down again. Good fielding. And that's been picked up lovely. Is there a fielder down there, George? No, but it's, uh, it's stuck up again. This outfield is super slow today. Two more runs. And that's up in the air, and that has been caught, and I've missed that one, so I do apologise. Oh, wait, uh, I apologise, that is a no ball, which means it's going to be a free hit. And that's uh, been punished, that free hit. That's going to be four runs to Bushy. Left-hander fooling me, fooling me again, so uh, we're going to stay this side. That's a lovely ball. And that is uh, a half tracker and being dispatched for four more runs for Bushy. It's a lovely shot as well. There's a fielder out there and Bushy moves on to 47. Oh, it's, uh, I think going over is a bit high. Again, down the field, there's a side screen in the way unfortunately. But that has gone for four in the end. And with that, that is 50. And he did raise his bat, I think, but another 50 for Bushy on his last game for Wheatley. And he's got a bit of that as well, so that's also gone. And that's another four. I think he's going to do this all on his own. Oh, and he's going to cross the line there. And uh, there's a big shout. It was very, very close, but the umpires turned it down. Jimmy. And Eddie has gone to Cal Corner there. And uh, split the two fielders and four runs. Oh, what a ball that was. Absolutely ripped it again. A bit of a change of tact here. Another spinner coming on. And a uh, quick single. Oh, so weekly on 84 here. Bushy comes marching down again, but it's a uh, fielder here. And uh, a bit of a misfield, which uh, means it's gone for four runs. Oh, lovely ball. And he's gone there again. That's absolutely clattered for six runs. Lovely shot. Apologies, viewers, that was four runs. Honestly, I just looked like it was simple. Yeah. I saw net rattle. Five likes. 
And that's, uh, as Peach just said there, five wides. And that takes us up to uh, 98. And there's uh, 11 runs to go. And with that single, Wheatley move on to 100. Nine more runs to go. Oh, and unfortunately that's come to four, five wise, I should say. So that takes up to 107. And that's a uh, half tracker. And that's uh, a Bill, Bill's running away from the ball there. But that's gone for four runs. And uh, that is the end of the game. So viewers, um, that is the end of the season, unfortunately. Uh, Wheatley finished in fourth or third, depending on what the other scores are like. Um, and uh, Alter Bryden potentially going down, unfortunately. Um, but thank you for a fantastic match and thank you for an amazing season. Um, I'm going to go and try and find Pecky. I don't know where he is, but I'll go and try and find him. We're going to do some off-season videos as well. Um, but congratulations to the Wheatley boys in the first team and everyone else in the Bassett Law. It's been an absolute pleasure. I've loved every minute of it and I can't wait until the the next season, which starts in April. Thank you, viewers.